All right, we're gonna do some marsh fishing today. Uh, backwater stuff. Ocean's been rough, lots of northeast wind. Uh, I'm gonna throw some top water today and I'm gonna throw some jigs. We're gonna fish shallow stuff, you know, five feet, 10 feet tops. Mm, targeting all those fish that live in the backwater in North Carolina. So flounders and redfish and speckled trouts and mystery fish. Top water early. We're gonna switch it up. We got a lot of mullet and stuff. So we'll do just fine. We just got the start of the outgoing tide. I'm gonna cover ground though. I'm gonna be kind of aggressive how I'm moving through. Got him. Feels like a trout, right? What is that? Nothing big. Oh, more Jack Craval action, huh? Too bad that's not very large, but that's interesting. You're gonna have to calm down, buddy. Sharks will eat well. A couple shrimp. Let's try the shrimp, see what we can do on that. And then we're gonna move on. Got him. Flounders, huh? Shorties. Got him. He was somewhere there. Got some redfish. Yeah, red. <laughs> Got ourselves a pretty uh, average redfish. <sighs> Had lots of swipes on top water, man, but kept missing. I guess when they're when, when these reds really get into high current, they get you know they're, they're they got bottom facing mouths. So maybe it's the way I'm working it too fast, too aggressively, where they just kind of. Get a little more sloppy and current, but yeah. Fight, beat the fights on these fish, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm just chucking along this oyster bank. That's all I'm doing here. So that oyster is like a rock, right? You got the left side of it and the right side, the down current side and the up current side. I think we got a pile of fish on the up current on the down current side today that was like boom fish on better one all right a little less fight on this one though gosh pretty fish little red teddy bears Start, good start, two reds. Let's try the top water one more time. All right, just switch it up. Such vicious fish though, these reds. Sick. 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 Try to keep mad at it. It's this way I don't want to scare any other reds that might be laid up right there. Let's 
sandwiched it pretty good. Little, little stinker here. And he rocked that top water hard though. That was so cool. Oh, I guess that one's over. All right, uh, I'm gonna cruise down a couple creeks here, see what's doing. Put on gold crocodile. We got the crocodile, still got a jig head, which you can put plastic on. Um, on crocodiles, baby. Oh shit. Damn. First cast, that's good. That's good shit there. Alright, there you go. Not a bad, uh, Redfish. These guys know. They think I got food for them. Bait or whatever. Got him. What is that? Croaker? Flounder. Spoon flounder. Might be a big jack. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm not going to like it though. on a spoon and I believe oh there we go that ain't bad significantly better one might have been the same fish uh, dumped on the spoon decent fish There you go. It's a hefty one. Proper drum. Proper backwater drum. That's not a bad fish, huh? How's that one? Okay. Alright, so I'll tell you what. It ended up being a decent day. Uh, what are we on? Five redfish? That's not too bad. A lot of short flounder. Um, Yeah, that's not bad at all by any means. I've seen some reds in here, like moving. I see active activity. Fun activity. No, but activity is there's definitely some activity in this creek still. Got him. Got him. Drum. Drum. Right? A little black drum. Cool. Guess we found a good hole. A little drum hole. It's a stripeless black drum. Oh, look how rare that is, I guess. Right? I, I don't think that's too common. A uh, drum at that, a black drum at that size to have no stripes at all. Uh, that's a black drum. Got another one. Guessing that's a red. Right? Ooh, red drop. Red rum. This one was on the Gulp Nemesis. Hide your wife, hide your kids, red drum. It's a pretty one. Real pretty fish. what that was man we gotta we're gonna have to 
rewatch what fish that was. It looked like a cobia, man, or something weird. All right, I'm gonna pack it in. About a second here. Dude, no speckled trout. That's a little, I thought that was kind of surprising. The money maker was the 3 8 ounce uh, Z-Man Headlocks jig. Uh, I fished a couple different flavors or varieties of the gulp. Lost a mystery fish on the gold spoon. Uh, I don't know, it slammed it hard. I think maybe Jack Creval, I don't know. Uh, it was a freaking strong hit, man. And broke through 30 pound leader, so. Uh, could have been a shark though, of course. So I'm uh, working my way in right now. Overall, pretty good day. Uh, one, one red was solid. Uh, we're gonna turn on the camera if we catch anything else. The wind's picking up. Gonna enter an open bay right now, so uh, whatever else we hit from here on out is gonna be uh, some windy, some windy fishing. I'll throw a couple more jigs, see what else I can catch. Let's head it in. I just picked a red on a, a gulp shrimp. This chicken pretty darn deep too. What I gotta do next time is I gotta fish a lot deeper. Nice fish. That one's not bad. A little bigger than they have been. Uh, it was on a four inch gulf shrimp. He ain't bad. All right. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. He fits the bill just fine. Cool fish, huh? We're uh, headed in now, so not a bad day. Uh, I have affiliate links in the video's description, rods, reels, Shimano Stratix, and Jigging World, and uh, the gulps, and all that stuff. We used a lot of different things today. Um, yeah, it's, and it's also uh, fished a lot of areas I've never fished before either, so, so some good stuff. Uh, Maybe we'll do some more videos like this. I know they're kind of boring. They usually, the, the, black, the backwater videos don't do that well, typically. Most people find them boring. Uh, throwing, you know, ocean stuff is a little more glamorous, right? This boat is officially for sale. If you're interested, uh, just message me on my, uh, through my website. Um, there's a contact form. I won't respond to you know, YouTube requests for this boat. Uh, but I'm asking 1500 for it. It'll come with a fish finder. Uh, two rod holders and not the reverse drive the regular drive uh, with turbo fins. It's an excellent shape, too I've used it a lot. It's probably seen about a hundred days on the water, but it's a 2015 hull um, I just rather have a, me personally the amount I fish. I just want to have a boat that's in warranty um, I don't think there's anything wrong with this boat I think I would have had a problem with it by now if it was something that bad with this boat um, like I said, it saw more use, especially in New York, than that last Outback that Crack did. So, you know, it's one of those things, actually probably more than both of those Outbacks, especially in New York, it saw quite a bit of use over there. Uh, but that being said, um, I didn't see too much use last year out here in Carolina, but you know, it might be seeing a lot of use now if we can't sell it. Uh, that's one of those things, different type of boat. Most guys are in the, the wider kayaks. Um, this is a... Uh, you need a certain type of angler that wants this type of boat. So I am that type of angler, but like I said, I'd really rather have something in warranty. So, well, anyway, that was a rant. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching that video. I'll catch up with you guys soon.